Hi. So here in this question, we are given a student took five papers in an examination where the full marks were the same for each paper. His marks in these papers were in the proportion of six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And in all papers together, the candidate obtained sixty percent of the total marks. Then the number of papers in which he got more than fifty percent marks is what? So the best way to solve this question is by let's say assume that the maximum marks is hundred for each paper, right? So there are total five papers in all. One, two, three, four, five. So the total maximum marks will be five into ten, five hundred, right? Now what will be the total obtained marks? We know he got sixty percent of the total marks. So sixty percent of five hundred. Sixty percent of five hundred is three hundred. So out of five hundred, he got three hundred marks in all. And this three hundred marks. Is in the ratio of six, seven, eight, nine in each of these phase five papers. So let's say P one, P two, P three, P four, and P five. So in P one, he got six parts out of uh, how many? Six plus seven plus eight plus nine plus ten, forty. So six by forty into three hundred marks is what he got in the first paper. So this becomes zero zero. This goes by three by two, and fifty by two is 15. So 3 into 15 is 45 marks. So he got 45 marks in the first paper. In the second paper, he would have got 7 parts out of 40. 7 by 40 into uh, 300. So 0 0 gets cancelled. 7 into 30 is 210. 210 upon 4. Now 210 upon 4 is uh, approximately uh, this is 5. Fifty-two point five. Now this itself is fifty-two point five, right? Now if in P two, what we have to figure out is in how many subjects he got more than fifty percent. So fifty percent of hundred is fifty. So we have to figure out in how many subjects he got more than fifty marks. In P two itself, the student got more than fifty percent, and obviously in P three, P four, and P five, he gets more marks than P two. So here definitely he would have got more than 50 in each of these three subjects. No need to actually calculate. So P2 is also more than 50. P3, P4, P5 will automatically be more than 50. Only P1 is less than 50. So out of these five subjects, in four subjects he gets more than 50%. Option C is the right answer here. Thank you.